My name is uh, Shuang Liu, and uh, my current title uh, is a uh, assistant professor in the Department of Physiology at the Columbia University Medical Center. I'm quite uh, optimistic uh, about the, the real and effective treatment for red syndrome, and particularly uh, reactivation of MECB2, because it's really tackle the root cause of this disease. So what is uh, MECB2 reactivation and why should we care about uh, reactivation of MECB2? So the disease causing genes occur uh, on the X chromosome. So for the case of red syndrome, uh, majority of female red syndrome patient carry a uh, heterozygous mutation, meaning they have one uh, wild type allele or healthy allele of the gene, MECB2, and uh, they have a uh, mutation or loss function mutation allele of MECB2 genes. So they have one good allele, then they have one bad allele. So therefore, um, a long-standing question is, can we reactivate this uh, healthy allele, which was silenced by X chromosome deactivation mechanism during development, if we can reactivate the wild type allele of MECP2, then we might be able to rescue about half of the red syndrome cells with uh, reactivated MECP2 healthy alleles, then they can restore the cellular functions leading to a beneficial effect even at the um, whole organism level. So I think that's the excitement of reactivation of MECP2. My research field is uh, emerging and quite exciting research field called uh, neural epigenetics. Basically in this direction, uh, we are trying to understand what's the role of epigenetic, a very basic uh, mechanism in brain functions and disorders. Epigenetics is a very basic and fundamental uh, molecular mechanism, which by its name is meaning uh, anything above epi, above genetic regulation. So this is the mechanism basically enable our genome to integrate both developmental signals as well as the environmental uh, stimulations. I took advantage of the CRISPR-Cas9, uh, a technology that enable precise genome editing. With my knowledge in uh, epigenetic regulation, so by combining this new technology with my own uh, knowledge in epigenetic regulation, I developed a series of molecular tools that allowed us to precisely edit the epigenome. One of such application of the tool I developed is to study uh, red syndrome. This collaboration basically is the main goal is to use multiplexed epigenome editing, meaning editing multiple uh, modality of epigenetic uh, uh, modifications. We are aiming to test uh, uh, two uh, aspects. One is, can we use multiplex epigenome editing to reactivate MECB2 in the uh, red syndrome neurons, as well as in the red syndrome uh, mouse models? The second question we want to ask is, if we can uh, reactivate MECB2, Will, MC, will reactivation of MECB2 rescue the neuronal defect? It's in the edited uh, red syndrome neurons, as well as will reactivation of MECB2 rescue uh, the red syndrome uh, associated behavior defect, which we can observe in uh, red syndrome animal models. This. Uh, this relatively unconventional collaboration between my lab and uh, uh, Tony's lab and uh, Fran Hunch and Kyle's lab at, uh, in California 
it's really essential to push the science move forward faster and also enable us to uh, really tackle the very challenging question which might be uh, impossible or could be very, very slow for any uh, single lab or PIs. We are quite excited about our collaboration because our expertise uh, are complement complementary to each other and uh, we are really uh, take advantage of, of those different expertise to uh, tackle the same questions. As a scientist, uh, we are trying uh, all the possible ways, all the method and all the strategy we can imagine and uh, we can pursue, try to understand the, the, uh, the basic uh, mechanism of the red syndrome and also try to apply whatever uh, available or we can develop to tackle this disease. It's, it's really a good time in the sense of the how how diverse of the the research on red syndrome has gone so far, and uh, we have many uh, milestone uh, discoveries. I think all this progress uh, made uh, along along those past uh, past several decades clearly leading to uh, uh, leading to uh, many new potential new therapeutic approach. If we can uh, bring back by uh, reactivating the wild type Leo from the female rat syndrome patient, I think it's a quite a promising and effective and a safe approach to treat this very devastating disease. <laughs>